that's the seasonal health and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not arguing right. against you, Steve. I'm just saying. I just think it, it should be reflected. I mean, the seasonal helps the, is like a line item for, I, for kids that work in parks. Right? I don't disagree. I don't disagree with you conceptually, except that, except that at this time it doesn't change the bottom line. It doesn't change the bottom line at this time. It's another piece, another, another level of confusion. We've already got a tremendous amount of things that are a little bit confusing here. And we just added another thing about a position that's in there but not in there, and just funding another source. I, I just assume that I go myself personally. I, I think we, we do have a we do have precedent for it. There are other positions that are not listed that are funded through the law with funds or the government accounts. I think it's fine. I think even though I conceptually I think like, but I, I think I, I, I just think that transparency is always a, the best course of action to take. And it doesn't cost you anything anything's a little bit big. You know, uh, we're talking we're not talking about seasonal health and recreation. Appropriations, it doesn't change anything because you have the revenue source of being involved. I, I guess the question I would raise, Steve, is since we have this uncertainty of what we can pay this individual, uh, right now we have, uh, as of this evening, received a check for $50,000 as part of our revolving. So I wouldn't have a problem saying that uh, we can fund a position of uh, X number of dollars. We're putting a salary budget, so salary budget on whatever department is going to be assigned to, and that we uh, adjust the uh, fixed cost accordingly with a piece of it being funded from the revolving fund. So, you know, one way of looking at it is now have we locked ourselves into that set of numbers? Because we're talking about hiring somebody, right? And what if they have to offer this candidate 50000 all of a sudden, there's a shortfall right, that isn't funded. And right. in the warrant, we, we, the town meeting has approved a certain amount. Now, if it was you know, for additional stuff that we we're going to spend expenditures and things, you say, well, you pay for out of the warrant. I don't know if you can split the salary. No, I think you can do it. I mean, the way you do it is like you always do. It's just appropriate at the end of the town meeting time for a July 1st budget that starts. And if you need to adjust it, adjust it in October okay. the following okay. April. You can do that. You to supplement it if you need to, or... But I, I guess, from I'm going to ask this to, uh, to you, Greg. Uh, if you've got $40,000 in a salary account for a director for this position, and it turns out that you have to offer $50,000, can you do that? With the budget being short funded until October. If the, budget, if the budget says 40, in other words, can you, you know, we have, want to hire somebody at 50, can you hire somebody at 50? I, I'd be in favor of leaving it alone. It's, it's, it's late in the process, and we got to just leave it alone. I, 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 I would get that it's not late in the process, only because this was voted out in October town meeting. The plan was to have it in, in place for the, well, some people wanted it in place today. Uh, you know, this current fiscal year, uh, but now it appears that will be the next fiscal year. It's not out anticipated. It's once in the, in the making. Why wouldn't you? Again, it should be its transparency if you put it out there. It's a department position. I could look. Yes. I guess I guess I would be in agreement with Mr. Dandino not to put it in only Steve because in essence we could be handcuffing the the appointing authority to a set figure. In other words, if we, if, if the appropriate person wanted fifty thousand dollars and we felt that person was worth that money, and we have a figure of forty thousand in there, we can't hire him at fifty thousand, correct, Mr. Belcons? That's right. We have to hire him at So I, I, I kind of think we'd be handcuffing the uh, appointing authority to to a set figure. And I don't, I don't think we should do that at this point, especially in in a new Department, department head, whatever we have a title this person has. I just, I don't think this would be the time to do that. That's, that's just my opinion. I would just leave it. I also have a problem of putting new staff on and not having it appropriated to town meeting. I, I just,
I am inherently opposed to that idea. Yeah, I agree. The vote has been taken. How many have decided? The administration has gone along with the proposal as far as you know, creating the position and moving forward, and we have no place in our budget to reflect it. And we're, we're attempting to, to say, okay, we've just got a check to start a new revolving fund for $50,000. We'll use the money from there to do it. And, you know, my question is, why wouldn't you subject it to an appropriation like you would everything else? I mean, the, the appropriations, even for other seasonal help, other positions are to be identified. The monies are allocated from the revolving fund to the recreation department to do this sort of stuff. You know, Steve, I, I absolutely agree with you on, on this whole thing. I, I think the issue is that maybe the, uh, the risk group has put themselves on the box by withholding some funds, right, because they want to make it exactly what they need, not a penny more. Because once it's in the revolving fund, they can't use it for other purposes outside of what's within the charter of uh, this program. Maybe we need to go back to them and say, look, uh, you know, if we put $50,000 in, that's what we got, and, we, and we're going to put it in the, uh, in the warrant, uh, then you're going to have to hire someone for well, it less than $50,000 to balance some of the would be my intention. You could put a figure of, of $75,000 in it to, to, to you know, take care of this, this need, but if, this, if the $75,000 isn't in the revolving account, you can't spend it anyway. Because that's the source that it's going to come from. So once the source is, is, is uh, you know, extinguished, as far as, you know, or if it's replenished, the, the money comes in during the course of the year to the revolving fund, it can be spent. And I anticipate that this organization is going to raise whatever is necessary in order to sustain this uh, this position. So what do you, uh, what do you so say? I'm saying, again, I'd have to rely upon it because like sixty-two thousand dollars, if that's what the figure is, and that gives the uh, town administrator latitude. Uh, to do that, and if there's more than sixty-two thousand dollars in the revolving account, and funds are required to uh, supplement the budget going forward, and no matter what the person's on board, you do that in October town meeting. So do I? Or later, you, in April. Do I read you as having less of a concern over the money they wanted to spend on a couple of these little programs, yeah. and, and really mostly concerned about the salary issue? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I think there should be a line item in the budget for. For expenses, for, for expenses too, for the, for the salary and the expenses. They, they do it based upon the projected budget, which is fine. And if it needs to be augmented or changed, we've got two other opportunities in October and April. And chances are we have special town meetings in between anyway. We have to do that sort of thing, make adjustments. But at least it's identified, it's transparent, it's in the budget. It's, uh, it's a new position that we, you know, we've embraced and are budgeting for, but are not allocating any funds to it in the budgetary process. Uh, to me, adding the line items is not a big deal. Uh, allocating the money isn't a big deal because the money's going to come from a source other than raising a program. But so so, so let me ask you this then. What would you recommend to put? What would be the, uh, the salary? Take their budget. Uh -huh. That's their budget. They're the ones that researched it. The administration seems to, the administrator seems to agree. You know, and that's that both parties agree that's the top end as to what would be needed in the first year. So okay, you, you say that that's funded out of the revolving fund, and then obviously if there's not enough money in the revolving fund, we don't bring the person on. Or you cut back on your program. programs, whatever the program We don't bring the person on, and, you know, when they pick the individual, <coughs> and decide that's the person they want to go to, and then they've got to put funds into the revolving fund to yeah. match what's required. Yeah. If the funds ran out, the whole idea was in the first two years, if the funds ran out, they ran out. I Well, so I, I that, at least two years. Yeah. That seems, does that seem to be workable, Greg? In other words, we put in there what they've requested for a budget to be funded from the revolving fund, which is underfunded at the moment. Well, that's my, my concern is the fact that it doesn't have the... If you wanted to go to town meeting and appropriate $50,000 for the purposes of hiring a youth services director, I wouldn't have any objection to that. The, the, the hesitancy I have is when you wish to go forward and approve above the $50,000. I'm thinking about if that money is not received, then ultimately you have to go back to town meeting prior to setting the tax rate and vote to rescind that appropriation because you won't be able to set the tax rate up. Well, my suggestion is put two line items in there, uh, one at the $50,000, $49,999 and expenses of a dollar. So create your line items, the 
sources of funding for the revolving account, and as the year goes on, come October, whatever's in the revolving fund, we supplement that, that appropriation. In between, in between, they can't spend it because it hasn't appropriated. They can, they can spend it. They can spend it. But I'm not They can spend it. No, they can't. I'm not It's in the revolving fund. It has to come from the town administrators. Well, how can they, they, they spend it anyway? I, I, why don't you want it appropriated by town meeting? You know what? You know what? My, I, t I express my feeling. I express my feeling. Why are we going to go through this over and over again? The bottom line is, is that you've given people handout of all these, of all this material already. You've got a lot of people informed. <coughs> now we're going to add another complexity to it. You, you're not going to, you're not going to ever get people to, uh, to understand and buy into anything you want. I'm supporting what you want the override for three years. I don't want an override for three years. I don't agree. With you. Well, we're I'm not talking about that. Well, well, no, we are because, because I, I think to add this to the budget just creates another level of complexity, another change in what we're doing. To me, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think there's a lot of value in it. Okay, and I think it creates a level of confusion. So that's my feeling, and that's the way I. I mean, let's let's decide. Right. Let's, I, let's I, vote. I think, let's I decide. Think I think there's a certain level of distrust out there, and when you want to gloss over it and, and not put it out in the budget, and not make it transparent, make it subject for, subject for appropriation like everything else we do, I think that raises more concern with people's oh. people's mind. I don't see it as this confusing issue. I mean, if we go to town meeting, go through the budgetary process. I do. It has a way of explanation. This is what it is. We handle it just like we do the recreation, just like we do the Hillview. Not a big deal. It's not raising appropriate. It's not raising appropriate. Uh, and people even go, that's great. Oh, for that. My reaction is that the university can't have it both ways. If they, they wanted this to be part of the town uh, government. They wanted the director to be a town employee. Therefore, by default, they, they must uh, you know, live within the four corners of municipal government no, and, and, and do things properly. So, if this, I, I just didn't want to get us into a situation where if we put it in, that we, you know, we, we prevent this thing from going forward. That's what you're, yeah, I don't think it's what it all. said you're doing. And I think it's unfair. Well, I think it's unfair to raise this now when they just came here and gave you 50000 And if you told them before, then maybe, I don't I, I don't claim to know, but maybe they would have given you 75000 if if that is what you want. Now, what you're trying to do now is you're trying to set them up so that they're, their budget, they're in the budget as something less than what they want, so that they're re precluded from getting what they need. I would Not disagree with you. It's late to be doing Not this, in my mind. It's Not late, it's Not late and it's unfair. Call them back in, tell them what you want to do, tell them what they need to do, and then we let them decide it's what to do. It's up to the administration to do what us to do. It's not for them to do. It, it, it is, they, it is if you restrict them. Do, it is funded. It is if you restrict them to fifty thousand dollars, like the anything. town administrator said, and you're going to go back to town meeting to spend more than fifty thousand dollars. That's what the town administrator just said. I mean, he just said that. I respectfully disagree with the town that. administrator. As far as what they can do and how much we can appropriate, I, think you, I, I just heard what the town administrator said. We can appropriate. Yeah, we, do it, we do it all the let's, time. Let's let's we do decide. it all the time. Let's go. Let's ice. We we all right. Then we have, then we allocate money towards it afterwards. Great. Maybe maybe you can help it. settle this issue. What would you like me to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the answer I wanted. <laughs> I guess the question to you is, from from a point of view, of, I think you understand what we we're trying to do, right? I mean, basically, what we're saying is, uh, it would be good to have this is a line item on the budget. We don't know what they're going to pay. Right now, you've got a check in the revolving fund of $50,000 based on their own budget projection. Right? We need more to fund the program. So given that, what would be the best thing to do associated with a line item? Use their budget and uh, go to town meeting and say, this is uh, what we're going to appropriate. And if by, I would think between now and the October town meeting, they would identify a candidate and be ready to make an offer. And if that offer required them putting more money into the revolving fund, they could do it at that point in time. And at October town meeting, we could make the appropriate adjustment so we don't screw up the tax rate. Well, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. We're not breaking any, as Mr. O'Leary stated, it's preferable. 